Hi, this is Kelly again. I had a question um, on how I made the pages for my this my latest mini on how I the construction of them. They are made out of envelopes and they have a pocket here. And I just wanted to do a quick video just to explain how I put this put these envelopes together and bound them. Um, I started out with just a just a typical envelope. Like this and this one I actually I cut the ends off of one end just just very the very edge and then I always like to instead of licking this part down I like to um, use my ATG gun and glue it down and partly the reason is well one I don't like the taste of the glue and two it the glue only go it comes to here and I don't like it I want it to be shut all the way so I simply just with my ATG, I just glue this and close the envelopes just like that. And then, like I said, I already went ahead and trimmed just the very edge of the envelope. And this will be the opening that the tags can slide in and out. And then to make the pocket, I scored it at two inches. Just ran a score line down. Um, all of them at two inches. That gave me a good size pocket. And then I simply fold it down. And there's my pocket. And now on this, um, you can either glue this down with like red tape or you know something similar to that. But I personally like to use uh, Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. I like the fact that it when it's dry, it's not thinks tags don't get stuck down in it and so I simply just run I mean, frame here a little bead of glue down both sides and I close it up and then I take I take these little binder clip things I have a ton of them and I just clip it and when I make my book, I'll make all of my pages at once and I'll have them like this. And they, this only takes, oh, maybe four or five minutes to dry, if that. And it doesn't take very long at all. In fact, I have, I have one here. This one I just did. And it's already dry enough that I can take the clips off. And then the next thing, how I bind them together, I use... This was a method that I first saw... Well, I've seen this method other places. But I most recently saw this um, Kathy over at uh, Paper Phenomenon. She has some Ustream videos that she's done, and they are on. Oh, she made the most gorgeous bag, paper bag mini, and she used this method to attach the paper bags together. But for this, I'm since I'm not using paper bags, it's pretty much the same idea. But I'll show you real quick. How to how to do it? This one I've already done. Oh well, here let me start with this. I've got a, I've started here with a piece of paper and it is oh three and a quarter inches um, wide, and then the the uh, the width this way just depends on how big your envelopes are. And I've just come in and I've scored a half inch or no a quarter inch. Sorry. In the middle of it, so I think this is a half, and this is one and a half, and then this is one and three quarters on the score lines. And then I folded them, and that gives me a nice wide um, gusset or whatever you call it. So that this type of a mini, you can, if you like to do thick embellishments and stuff, you can. It works out really well, and it still closes pretty good because you've got all that room to add the embellishments. And this one here, I've already glued it on, and as you can see, you know, my paper doesn't cover everything, and that's because when I come back later, I will cover this with pattern paper of my choice. But you could, if you wanted, you could do this out of pattern paper and then cover the entire thing. But let me show you how I've done this. I've already glued this one on, and I'm going to glue this next envelope on. And I like to do, for this, I like to do, I like to use my ATG just on the outer edges. 
because that's kind of an instant hold, but then to make sure it stays permanent, I like the Scotch Quick Dry. And then this, I'm going to fold it, as you can see it here, I'm going to fold it back on this so that I can line it up, if you can tell what I'm doing. And it's going to actually go on the back side of this pocket. So I'm going to fold that down and I'm going to line it up with the back side. Just get it all, I'm not lining it up very good. Get it lined up. Well, I didn't do a very good job, but I'm going to press it down. And there you have it. You open it up and then you've got your your pages. And then I'll do this next one. It should be dry enough that I can take the clips off. Like I said, you know, if there's a little bit, you can wipe it off. But I have another one here. And this one I'm going to actually start on the back side. I hope this is making sense. And same thing, just the ATG tape gives me that instant stick so things don't slide around and then the Scotch Quick Dry gives it a permanent and see, I'm going to fold it down so that I can line this edge up and because see how I've got it laid here this is how I want it to go so I'm going to line that edge up with the edge of my envelope and press it down and then that one's down, and then I just flip it over. And same thing on the other side. Oops, that tape's not sticking real well for some reason. And the glue. And then this one I want to go like this. So I'm going to fold it back down to that score line. And line it up. And like I said, Kathy's Kathy showed how to do this with the paper bags, and she did a really good job of explaining it. And her mini was absolutely gorgeous. You need to go over and check check it out. She used Tim Holtz paper with it, and it was just gorgeous. Anyways, that gives you an idea of how these how the pages go together. You can see that there's plenty of space in between for embellishments. And then I just come back later and I cover my pockets later. I have tried to cover them before I put them together, but obviously I wanted this underneath, so I ended up pulling paper off and it was a mess. But So now when I do it, I put my pages together and then I cover them because that has just worked. that's worked the easiest for me. But if you have any questions, just shoot them my way. Um, I hope this helps for those of you that were wondering how I did it. Very simple, very easy. Same thing, like I say, the same thing can be applied to paper bag minis. It works just about any kind of mini, I think. Works great. Well, anyways, hope it was helpful, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks.